Keys from last year. All right, so uh, these blowout cutouts uh, were bigger than life, and this fan club uh, was definitely made its presence felt throughout the course. So, this is TJ Eisenhart, who's a professional cyclist from Lehigh, Utah. Uh, last year, he re represented the BMC developmental team during the Tour of Utah. Now he is riding for Holowesco Citadel. Please welcome TJ. Thank you so much, Frank, for that awesome introduction. And might I just say that I already have chills for this awesome course. So thank you so much for putting together this great course. It's really exciting. Uh, it's good motivation. So thank you so much. So besides seeing your oversized head along the race course all of last year, you made your professional race debut here at the uh, Tour of Utah. In retrospect, now that time has passed, what do you remember and how, how do you describe the experience? Well, uh, so I did actually what everyone talks about 13 years ago, the very first Tour of Utah, where the leader's jersey was the Jamba Juice jersey. And ever since then, seeing Jeff Louder and Burke Swindlehurst just conquering these mountains. And, you know, I always dreamed about making my professional debut uh, here at Tour of Utah. So when that became a reality last year, uh, it was an immediately, uh, in, you know, a dream come true, obviously. And yeah, I just remember having just absolutely chills and goosebumps and just pure excitement um, about the fact that, you know, my family, friends, people are really gonna see what we as professional athletes do, because uh, it's a hard sport to understand a lot of the time, and so uh, it was really a great opportunity for uh, to really kind of show that, showcase that that uh, we're not just riding our bikes for fun. You know, we're 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 suffering up these incredible mountains and uh, you know racing hard, and so uh, yeah, I have more than amazing memories uh, about Tour of Utah. So when people ask you about training and riding in Utah, what stands out for you? What is the reputation among the other cyclists? Um, man, well, Utah has everything to offer, whether it be immediate flats, you know, whether you go out west, you have all the flatlands out there, or you just go west into the mountains there. And uh, with me growing up here, uh, you know, I would just basically train every day up the Alpine Loop, you know, snow, uh, Sundance, say the Canyon, and the fact that the Tour of Utah goes through that, or, you know, me racing, just the local races, going up Big Cottonwood Canyon and everything like that, uh, literally, there's not one thing that Utah does not have that no other race uh, in the world, you know, it, it stands up to every race basically there is, you know, whether it be the incredible altitude, the incredible mountains, or honestly, just the heat. And so it really has every challenge that every professional athlete is looking for. So as Jen mentioned, we're not, we, we don't know the exact race route for uh, what we're gonna do yet. We know our starts and our finishes. We did talk a little bit about, you mentioned Big Cottonwood Canyon. We're gonna have an individual time trial there. What are your thoughts about that? And what little things you do know about the, the race course for the next year? Since you're familiar with these roads, what is your initial reaction to the ITT in particular and just yeah. to the route in general? Uh, I'm extremely excited about the individual time trial. Uh, I'm past uh, national champion in the time trial event. Uh, I just love the whole idea of time trials and the fact that Tour of Utah hasn't had one in a long time, it's really exciting. And the fact that it sounds like it's you know an uphill time trial, especially at Big Conway Canyon, there's so many aspects, you know, there's steep sections, but then there's also there's some long sec flat sections as well. So it's really gonna be an interesting, uh, I guess, uh, equipment decisions going into that. And so it's not just gonna be a straightforward time trial as well, it's just a lot of thought going into it already, you know, thinking about what <coughs> I'm gonna use, am I gonna use clip-on bars, are you gonna use this? And so uh, that truly excitement, it excites me, uh, just cause it's, it's all about you. It's no, you can't rely upon anyone else. It's all about what you have in the tank and what you have to offer. Uh, so I'm excited to see it. So do you have snow tires? I don't know how you train at this time of year, but maybe you can give us just an example of how you're setting up yourself for the upcoming season now. Uh, so I just spent uh, a month in uh, Santa Monica, the month of December there, just training in the warm weather, because obviously Utah is getting bombarded with snow. 
and that's not ideal for training. Uh, but these past two weeks that I've been home, I've just been on the indoor trainer, uh, just building up my fitness back up, and uh, I honestly love the snow. I think it's so beautiful. It makes our mountains look absolutely incredible. And the more the snow we have, the more ski tours we get in, and just like everyone says here, it's good. It's good uh, for Utah all around, and so uh, I don't mind the snow because it's supposed to snow right now. So. That's, that's life. <laughs> well, TJ, we know you're changing teams this year. We look forward to having you back at the Tour of Utah next year. We wish you uh, good luck in your training for the upcoming season, and thank you for taking the time to join us here today. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, it was better in person, wasn't it? <laughs>